Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To our below the lecturer, Madam Gigi Dana My name is Wan Muhammad Adli bin Wan Muhammad Today, we will make a video to answer two questions Based on case study that has been given The first question is, as a global brand What are the dangers of working with influencers And attempting to harness user-generated content? Okay, okay for the for answer As a global brand there are potential dangers and challenges associated with working with influencers and harnessing user-generated content. Here are a few examples. The first one is authenticity concerns. Influencer partnership can sometimes come across as inauthentic if the alignment between the brand and the influencer is not genuine. This can lead to a loss of trust and credibility among consumers. For example, is uh, the fire festival incident in 2017 where influencers promoted the festival without disclosing their financial ties to it leading to a major backlash when uh, the event turned out to be a disaster okay next we will answer by uh, adip daniel assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is ama adip daniel bin adi azhar so yeah, I'm going to continue the answer of the question number one. So next answer is a reputation management. So brands need to be cautious when working with the influencer or using the user-generated content. As any controversies or negative behavior associated with them can reflect fully on the brand itself. For example, in 2020, many brands faced backlash when they partnered with the influencer who were involved in inappropriate or offensive behavior causing damage to their own reputations. So next is a lack of control. When relying on a user generic content, brands have a limited control over the quality, messaging, and the context of the content created. This can lead to the uh, inconsistencies in the brand representation and potentially harm the brand image. An example is when the McDonald's launch a campaign as asking customers to share their positive experience using the hashtag MacStories. Instead of the positive stories, the hashtag was quickly hijacked by users sharing negative experience and criticism of the brand. So that's all for the answer of the question number one. So the next um, question will be answered by my friends Akil Akmal. Thank you very much. Okay, my name is Muhammad Akhil Akmal bin Anwar, metric number 0661946, and I will answer the question number 2. Okay, while well, uh, having a less social media following can be advantageous in certain cases, it is not an absolute necessity to be appointed as a creative director or hold a position of power for a global brand. The importance lies more in the individual skill, experience, and ability to deliver creative and strategic solution. Here's an example. Virgil Abloh, the former artistic director of Louis Vuitton Menswear, is a notable example. Abloh's rise to prominence was not solely based on his social media following, but rather his creative vision, design skill, and innovative approach to fashion. While he did have a significant presence on social media, his achievement and reputation were primarily built on his talent and unique perspective. His work with brands like Off-White and collaboration with artists and musicians further established him as a creative force in the industry. Thank you to Akhil. Now we proceed with my second point. It's worth noting that a strong social media following visibility and influence which may contribute to someone right in the industry. However, it is a main factor for appointing individuals to position of power within global brands. Other factors such as proven track record, industry recognition, leadership skill, and the ability to drive business results are equally, if not more important. That's all from me. Thank you.